pain? Does your pain make life miserable at home, with family and at work? Do you feel helpless and without hope? At Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup, they understand that constant pain is an awful condition that can lead to depression, disability, and utter despair. Advanced Healthcare now offers two proven effective treatments to reduce and relieve constant pain. Percutaneous electric nerve or PENS treatments and decompression traction therapy are highly effective at relieving constant pain in the spine, muscles, nerves, and other joints. Their highly trained healthcare professionals at Advanced Healthcare can fully evaluate, diagnose, and treat your constant pain syndrome and help restore your life and hope again. These new treatment options combined with proper medication management, chiropractic, physical, and massage therapy are covered by most major insurance plans. Same-day appointments and walk-ins are welcome. Call Advanced Healthcare Center in Jessup today at 427-8433. Feel better today. What could possibly be hotter than the South Georgia summer sun? Only one thing. The Red Hot Clear the Lot Sell-Down. Happening now at Woody Folsom Ford. Baxley. Over 80 brand new 18 model year Fords left. They're selling down at sacrificial prices. So come get you one or two or three new AT F-150 Mustangs Explorer edges at sacrifice prices. Or choose a new 19 F-150 and nail some 0% financing for 72 months. That's before we talk. And get that free lifetime powertrain warranty. Better get to Baxley and talk to me. Hey, over 450 new F-150s in stock and over 250 Super Duties on the ground. Ain't nothing to it but to come on and get you a red hot deal today. Better get to Baxley and the red hot clear the lot event at Woody Balsam Ford. It's hotter than hot. Great products, low prices, helpful service. That's Harris Ace Hardware. Harris Ace is your place for Yeti coolers, Traeger grills, Costa Demar sunglasses, Calcutta Renegade coolers, plus Harris Ace is your hometown dealer for yellow wood treated lumber. Harris Ace will not be undersold on price, so you know you're getting the best price at Harris Ace. Your favorite place for hardware and lumber supplies is Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. Does your body need some work? At Morton Collision Center, our comprehensive professional auto repair services will restore your vehicle to its pre-accident condition quickly and affordably. Expert collision repair, undetectable color matching, free estimates, all insurance claims welcome. Towing from the wreck with your request. Let the friendly staff at Morton Collision Center help you by dealing with the insurance company directly. Call 385-1048. That's 385-1048. We guarantee all of our work. Morton Collision Center. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a look, ladies and local news. We continue with more comments from the Friday governmental meeting between the county and city governments as they've begun discussions about a new 10-year service delivery strategy to implement an effective and cost-efficient manner of providing services to its residents. The current 10-year agreement ends at the end of the year, and a new one has to be implemented. City Manager Mike Deal, who's been both the city manager and a county administrator, has experience in putting one of these together, and he was at the train depot this past Friday in his position as city manager of the city of Jessup, discussing the process, advising everyone that they're, that the key to putting one of these plans together is to leave egos and personalities out of the equation and do what's best for the citizens of Wayne County. We can fight this battle, we can fight this battle pretty cool, and I can tell you something. The community's going to lose, and you guys are going to lose. We've talked, and we've had a lot of meetings with service delivery strategy, and when you get into a big argument, the politicians are the first to lose because they're not going to get reelected. If you're fighting between your your peers and and, uh, fighting that battle, people don't care. If you can't come to agreement, as long as you cause them confusion, and we got that worldwide right now, people are not wanting to hear that garbage. They want it to work itself out. Let's go forward. Uh, I'm pretty good with this agreement. There's a couple of issues that, that I want to try to get the word out to what is actually happening. Uh, and if I got what I think was perfect, I know you guys can pull. There's no way you'd have to you'd have to raise taxes a lot more than you have in the past and, and do it again 
probably several times. And I, I will address that. But I'm good with it going forward. Very similar to what it is today. And there's several reasons that I say that. We can afford that. And y'all can't afford to get to the point where I want it to be and where I think it should be. Nor is the state's wisdom as great as I think it is that it's going to be uh, uh, work out fairly and ethically all the way around the board. Comments of City Manager Mike Deal. City of Scriven represented the meeting a couple of commissioners along with Mayor Jason Weaver. Jason Weaver asked if it's possible to have a full-time ambulance located in the City of Scriven, among other concerns. dollars in the fire. Now, I don't disagree that the city is responsible for some, but it don't need to say the county is going to fully fund if we're going to operate by it because it says the county will fully fund. And that budget was astronomical. I cut it way down when I got in there because I, there was a bunch of senseless buying going on, I'll just be honest with you. So you're saying you need about 25 to fully fund it? To fully fund it? Yeah, we can fully fund it with 25. But I'm not asking you to fully fund it. I mean, if, I, I want you to understand that. I think it needs to be a, a well, partnership. Well, However, I'm a lot smaller, so I can't, I mean, I can't physically, I mean, we're doing it, but I don't know how, but we are. I think, Jason, what your homework is on that project is how many calls you I got have inside I got the city it. versus how many you answer outside. I got them. It's like 85% outside the city. I mean, it's literally, if I knew to bring that, I'd have it here with me because I had that whenever we met about the other. Well, I think, you know, when you're not there, you need to do that. So you're saying by 85% of your calls are outside the city? I get, yeah, it's at least 85%. What would you say, Lee? I mean, he's a firefighter. Yeah. It's at least 85%. Majority of our calls are in the county. What do you, uh, <clears throat> do you do anything other than structure fires you got your calls? Yeah, we're medical yeah. calls. We're, I mean, we're a full out, not fully medical full time. Uh, we fire structure, um, accidents. We do it all. Assist in lifting. I mean... You name it. I mean, personally, I would like to see an ambulance put inside that building. It was built with living quarters and the whole shoot and shebang. And I think that's a win for the county, but that's just my opinion. Um, we would we would give you the building as a county if you would put an ambulance in there. And we, I mean, we would pay the utilities on it. The city would just to help. Say somebody on Hortense Road or Cadeville having a heart attack. And time goes from 25 minutes to eight. I mean, I, I really think that's a win, uh, a, a win, win. But that's just my opinion. I mean, we have an extra bay. It was built totally to house a full medic. And again, once again, this meeting occurred last Friday morning at the train depot. It lasted close to two hours. The county made it clear that it was not an official meeting, and no notice was sent out. But the county was well represented as the administrator and all the commissioners, with the exception of Mike Roberts, were on hand. City of Justice represented by Mayor David L. Keith, City Manager Mike Deal, and Commissioner Nick Harris. City of Odom, the only city and governing body without representation at the Friday meeting. Another meeting is set for late August. In the meantime, the county stated they want to have a retreat among themselves, discuss their game plan and their plan for the agreement. City of Justice felt the need to have this meeting to get the ball rolling. Mayor Keith says it's something that has to be done, and all parties need to begin working on what the plan is for the betterment of all Wayne County. It was stated by several at the meeting, quote, we're all Wayne Countyans and we need to do what's best for everyone, end quote. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Change is one big thing you can count on. And as life changes, you can count on Altamaha Federal Credit Union to help keep you and your family's finances on solid ground. We'll help you keep more of what you earn and make the most of what you have. Visit us to see how we can guide you and your family towards financial success through all life's changes. Altamaha Federal Credit Union, Jessup, Ludowici, and Scriven. Visit us at altamaha.org. Insured by NCUA, Equal Housing Lender. 
It's a red, white, and blue celebration all month long at Walker Jones Chevrolet. And you could score a 2019 Chevy Silverado Crew Cab LT or RST truck and take 15% or up to $9,000 off. Nine grand! Or choose 0% for 72 months for well qualified buyers. Hey, this is Barry Hallowell. Come on down and see us at Walker Jones Chevrolet, home of a lifetime warranty. Find new roads at Walker Jones Chevrolet Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneschevrolet.com. Restrictions apply. See dealer details and Day 119. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scott Built, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, our 60 and higher installation values, thermal pane windows, and energy efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I 16 and the bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles, Bay, or Sheridan today. The Wayne County Chamber of Commerce invites you to a rebranding event for Georgia Hospice Care on Thursday, August 15th at 4 p.m. Come learn more about the services they provide and enjoy some refreshments and a time of networking with others. Join the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce on Thursday, August 15th at 4 p.m. for a rebranding event at Georgia Hospice Care located at 141 South Macon Street in Jessup. In other news, District Attorney Jackie Johnson confirmed Monday to WIFOFM that her office has requested the GBI investigation into the county administrator's office. Johnson says she received a call from a Wayne County citizen who filed the complaint. Johnson says she called the GBI for the investigation, which she says should be completed shortly. She states that while she cannot comment on an ongoing investigation, once the investigation is completed, she'll comment then. No word on who filed the complaint or even what the complaint's about. Johnson not revealing any information at this time other to confirm that an investigation has been requested by her office and she instructed the GBI to conduct the investigation. The BIFOFM continues to follow the story as it develops. We've talked to several commissioners who state they know there's an investigation ongoing, but the commissioners we've spoken to state also they don't know what the investigation is about who, or who filed the complaint with the district attorney's office. Kevin McCreary appeared on the Butch and Bob Show Tuesday. He stated for the record that he knew about the investigation but that all had been given instructions not to talk about the investigation. Again, the GBI has been in the office for the past two weeks conducting the investigation. Again, the district attorney says it should be over with shortly, and once it's over with, she'll be able to comment at that time. Reminder that Tower Road will be closed on Thursday, July 29th, and Friday, July 30th from Cherry Street to service now heating and air condition. The purpose is that the tower is coming down. People will still be able to get into can-do physical therapy and service now from Orange Street, but again, the tire is coming down next Thursday and Friday. So again, that road will be partially closed. Long County Health Department doing back-to-school clinic for Long County students. The dates and time again, Thursday, July 25th, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday, July 30th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. They're closed for lunch from 12 to 1. Again, if appointments are welcome but not necessary, most insurance plans are accepted. If you need additional information, call the Long County Health Department at 912 545 2107. The health department wants to help parents with beat the back to school rush by holding a clinic focused on the screenings and immunizations students need before starting school. Students entering a Georgia school for the first time, no matter what grade level, must have a completed certificate of vision, hearing, dental, and nutrition screenings forms. First time means never enrolled in a Georgia school before at any time in their lives. In addition, children born on or after January 1 of 2002 were attending seventh grade and new entrants into Georgia schools in grades 8 through 12. Must also have several vaccinations before attending school. Once again, the Long County Health Department helping parents with these clinics. If you need more information, call the health department again at 912-545-2107. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. Change is one big thing you can count on. And as life changes, you can count on Altamaha Federal Credit Union to help keep you and your family's finances on solid ground. We'll help you keep more of what you earn and make the most of what you have. Visit us to see how we can guide you and your family towards financial success through all life's changes. Altamaha Federal Credit Union, Jessup, Ludowici, and Scriven. Visit us at altamaha.org. Insured by NCUA, Equal Housing Lender. Saturday, August 3rd, Wild Adventures Theme Park in Valdosta, Georgia presents Air Supply, live in concert. It's the Wild Adventures All-Star Concert Series featuring Air Supply, live in concert on Saturday, August 3rd. 
of the concert is included with your park admission or season pass. Limited reserved seats are still available. Get your tickets and reserve seats for Air Supply. Live in concert at wildadventures.com. You've just got to do it. Go to Just Getting By Thrift Store and check out the incredible bargains that is. It's like a flea market under one roof. Almost everything you need is there. Clothes, furniture, mattresses, decorative items, housewares, appliances, toys, specialty items, antiques, tools, stuff for pets, DVDs, and much more. It's an adventure in shopping at Just Getting By Thrift Store, located in the old Tremart building at 4133 Savannah Highway, a half mile past the Jessup Drive-In. Just Getting By Thrift Store. Lowest prices guaranteed. Our customers comes first at First Franklin Financial. It's not just a slogan, it's the way we do business. Since 1941, we've been helping our friends and neighbors in the Southeast with their financial needs. We offer personal loans, bill consolidation loans, and more. So stop by our office today. We're conveniently located at 1074 North Macon Street, or give us a call at 912-427-4237. You can also start your application online at www.1ffc.com. All loan terms and applicable APR depends on meeting our underwriting and income criteria for the loan size requested. It may require collateral. Build your residential mortgage licensee, number 5656. Final notes and news back to school shopping underway in Wayne County. Reminder that the DDA Summer Spectacular runs a couple more weeks as it ends in the month of July. Several gifts to win, which will be announced in August. School bells ring on August 8th, first day of school. Reminder that open house for all schools in Wayne County is set for Tuesday, August 6th. That will run from 3.30 to 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Several events leading up to school. Freshman orientation for high school students scheduled for Wednesday, July 31st. The time from 2 to 3.15 Parking permits available for purchase beginning Tuesday, July 30th, 9 to 11 for seniors and those with perfect attendance, and then from 1 to 3 for upcoming juniors and sophomores. In order to purchase a parking permit, students must have in hand a signed parking permit, form signed by both the parent and the student, a driver's license, copy of tag registration, valid insurance card, and a $30 cash or money order. They state no checks will be accepted. Parking permit forms are now available at the high school website. We're at the, at the school office Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. until 3 p.m. Martha Puckett Middle School holding a day camp for all 6th grade students Wednesday, July 31st from 9 to 11. $18 registration fee covers lunch and a t-shirt. Students are responsible for transportation to and from camp. Arthur Williams Middle School having a jump start Monday, August 5th from 5.30 to 8 p.m. with many activities. Opportunity for parents and students to become more familiar with the school. Once again, school begins August 8th in Wayne County. Again, the open house Tuesday, August the 6th. Pine Forest Country Club hosting a summer social with entertainment provided by the band Hush this Saturday evening from 8 to 11 p.m. Food and drink specials from 6 to 9 p.m. Again, it's open to the general public. Summer social with the Country Club this Saturday night from 6 to 11 p.m. Cost is just $10 per person. Drink specials as low as $3. Again, it's a nautical theme. And everyone invited this Saturday night to the Pine Forest Country Club. Wayne County Grand Slam Fishing Tournament dates August 17th and 18th. Weigh-in and tournament headquarters will be at the J.C. Fairgrounds at the J.C. Landing. Those fishing the event can put in anywhere on the Altamar River and fish anywhere they have legal permission to do so, but they must be in line at weigh-in at the J.C. Fairgrounds by 12 noon on Sunday, August the 18th. Also, the rules allow two bush hooks per paid fisherman with the hooks clearly tagged and removed prior to weigh-in. No jugging is allowed in the tournament. Entry fee into the event is $50 per fisherman, a minimum of at least two paid entries fishing in a boat, Registration forms can be picked up at the Tourism Board's office. Online registration is available through active.com. If you need more information, check out the event website, waynetourism.com. All the Tourism Board office, or call the Tourism Board office at 912-427-3233. Early registration is encouraged to ensure the tournament's a success and the fish are biting. They're waiting for the boats August 17th and 18th, the Wayne County Tourism Board's Grand Slam Fishing Tournament. Again, the date's August 17th and 18th. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. The Sum Sum Summer Clearance Event is taking names and kicking old buying habits at Woody Folsom Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Better get to Baxley and check this thing out. Right off the bat, we're dealing Motor Trends Truck of the Year. The 19 Ram Crew Cam Big Horns with new body style. Up to 15% off MSRP. 15% off stickers. And that's before Woody Talks. 
Come on, let me show you where it's at. The name of the place is Woody Foles from Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bexley, USA. Nearly all new and used come with a free lifetime powertrain warranty. Some restrictions apply. Talk to me, Mike B, or any of the Ram team for details. Let's roll. Save up to 20% off MSRP on select 19 Ram Classic 1500s. Ram. Powered by Hemi, priced by Woody. The fastest growing truck brand in America. Get to the summer clearance event. Now taking place at Woody Folsom Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Better get to Baxley, where the Ram deals are. Come on, let me show you where it's at. Do you need a new lawnmower? If so, head to Night Saw Company in Baxley. Choose from a large selection of name brand mowers. Night Saw Company offers the best lawnmowers at the best prices anywhere. They also have in stock belts, batteries, and parts for all mowers, along with name brand trimmers, blowers, and hedge trimmers. For over 50 years, Wayne Countyans have been getting their power lawn equipment and parts from Knights. Night Saw Company on the Jessup side of Baxley on Highway 341. Psalm 4, 8. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Brought to you by the Odom Baptist Church. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that B&C Collision Center across from Wazen Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. Hi, good morning. Becoming more partly sunny, northeast breeze 10 to 15, highs mid-80s, mid-60s for tonight, even cooler. And tomorrow, mostly sunny, upper 80s, upper 60s tomorrow night. Friday, mostly sunny, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, upper 80s. Saturday, mostly sunny, slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, low 90s. Sunday, chance of showers and thunderstorms, highs, low 90s. Georgia meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. W-I-F-O-F-M, Big Dog Country. It's time to check your birthdays and anniversaries. Brought to you by Barge and Power Sports. Happy birthday wishes today going out to Kevin Keith. Kevin Keith celebrating. We love you from Marianne, Adley, Taylor, Katie, Emma, Emily, and Vince. Wishing Kevin Keith happy 52nd birthday. Kevin Keith, 52. Rex Stanley celebrating. Rex Stanley, 65. Happy birthday, Rex Stanley, on your 65th birthday from the family. Rex Stanley, 65 today. Tamika Roberts celebrating today. Happy birthday, Tamika Roberts from your Wade County High School band family. Wishing Tamika Roberts happy birthday. Band member Tamika Roberts celebrating today. Happy birthday to Brian Watford. Brian Watford from the Trapnels this morning. Happy birthday wishes Brian Watford from the Trapnels this morning. Bobby Daniels celebrating. Bobby Daniels. Happy birthday, Marilyn Heckwine. Marilyn Heckwine. Reed Nolan celebrating as well. Reed Nolan. Frank Santabria, Frank Santabria, and Shafania Walker, Shafania Walker. Happy birthday from the Robin Eubank State Farm Gang this morning. Wayne County High School, class of 1960, Rosalind Ellis Dowdy celebrating today. Rosalind Ellis Dowdy, happy birthday, Rosalind Ellis Dowdy. From all your classmates in the Wayne County High School, class of 1960. Big Dog Birthday Book on the uh, 24th. Happy 6th birthday, Lila Blackman. Lila Blackman from Papa and Grandma. Your brother London and Mama and Daddy with lots of love. Lila Blackman, 6 years old. Happy 6th birthday to Lila Blackman this morning. Long County calendar today on the 24th. Happy birthday to Davis Teston. Davis Teston celebrating. And Gaynell Garrison. Gaynell Garrison. So Davis Teston and Gaynell Garrison. Happy birthday. That is the Long County calendar. Way to get birthdays in this morning is via text at 912-427-3711. Birthdays and anniversaries on WIFO brought to you by Barge and Power Sports via text at 912-427-3711. Where is the whack-a-mole interface? Windows 10 updated, and every time they update something, they break so many things. That's not an update. That's a downgrade. Isn't that a down date? All right, let's see. It's loading. Hang on. 912-427-3711. Birthdays and anniversaries on WIFO brought to you by Barger Power Sports. All right, here we go. 
Happy birthday to Cam Lynn, 10 years old. Happy 10th birthday, Cam Lynn. From Uncle Ronnie, Susu, and Wes, we love you and are so proud of you. Cam Lynn, 10 years old. Oh, we did Cam Lynn 10. What is this down here? Cam Lynn, Cam Lynn. Happy birthday to the one who has the skills to pay the bills, Mr. Cam Lynn. Ashley loves you. Okay. Happy birthday, Camdy Blake. Double digits look good on you, love daddy, mama, and Cade for Camdy Blake. Camdy Blake. Happy birthday, Cam. Love Uncle Bobo and Aunt Georgia, Pastor Elliot. I guess Ashy forgot she had a husband. Happy birthday from Hunter. I love you, buddy. I don't write some. I just read some. 912-427-3711. Birthdays, anniversaries on WIFO as always. Brought to you by Barnes & Power Sports. you got time to shoot one in right now here on FM 105.5. Famous birthdays today, actress Linda Carter is 68. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. Actor Robert Hayes is 72. Can you fly this plane and land it? Robert Hayes. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Actor Michael Richards is 70. And Frank, no offense, but this holiday is a little <laughs> out there. <laughs> Bonus birthday with an asterisk, Barry Bonds is 55. There you go, Bob Morgan. Hello? Ah, uh, Jack, I got that truck with the steroids for you. No, and I'm in a press conference. Yeah, I'll just hold on to that truck with the steroids for you. I love you. Yeah, love you too, man. Yeah, steroids. All right, we'll come back with your big dog country birthday cake winner on WIFO. We'll do that right after this for Bargeman Power Sports. Bargeman Power Sports invites everyone to come visit their unbelievable new showroom on Highway 301 South in Jessup and on Highway 341 in Brunswick. They have a great selection of ATVs, golf carts, mowers, and more. Bargeman Power Sports carries Arctic Cat four-wheelers and side-by-sides, the new popular Can-Am four-wheelers and side-by-sides, cruise carts, and Yamaha golf carts. Bargeman has the full line of Kimco scooters. Don't forget, Bargeman Power Sports offers a complete service department for for all your service and repair needs. Stop by today and check out Bargeman Power Sports, Highway 301 South in Jessup, and their new location on Highway 341 next to I-95 in Brunswick. Your Big Dog Country birthday cake winner on this Wednesday. Happy 6th birthday to Lila Blackman. Lila Blackman picks up the cake from the Jessup Bakery with the bakery. That certificate's here at the station. You come by, you pick that up. It's good for today. Only head to the pig and claim your prize. Bargeman Power Sports, Brunswick, Jessup Online, BargemanPowerSports.com. Bring your birthdays and anniversaries. Wishing Lila Blackman, happy sixth birthday, Big Dog Country birthday cake winner. Happy birthday to Nancy Stanley. Nancy Stanley from John and Judy and all the family. We love you. Birthday wishes today going out to Nancy Stanley. Happy birthday, Nancy Stanley. Good morning for WIFOFM Big Dog Country at 735. Bob will have a look at uh, local sports. We'll check your weather forecast and so much more on a Wednesday morning here at the Big Dog. Birthday. Lila Blackman 6 picks up the cake from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. All right, it's 736. Good morning from WIFO. Let's get a look at your GNN Weather Center forecast on the Big Dog. It's brought to you by First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. When it comes to growing a family business, we understand the business of growing. At First Southern Bank, we've been meeting the needs of South Georgia farmers for over a 100 years. With competitive ag loan rates, including equipment loans, farmland loans, and lines of credit, First Southern Bank has all the banking tools you need to help keep your growing business growing. First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. For loan rates and more, visit FirstSouthernGA.com. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, good morning. Becoming more partly sunny, northeast breeze 10 to 15, highs mid 80s, mid 60s for tonight, even cooler. And tomorrow, mostly sunny, upper 80s, upper 60s tomorrow night. Friday, mostly sunny, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, upper 80s. Saturday, mostly sunny, slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, low 90s. Sunday, chance of showers and thunderstorms, highs, low 90s. Georgia meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. River level 4.2 feet steady, 4.2 steady river level. We've got a low tide here in about 15 minutes at 7.55. High this afternoon, 2.12, 6.2 feet. Low again this evening, 8.16. Sunset at 8.29. Temperatures in the mid-70s, 75, 75 here at the Big Dog WIFO. GNN Weather Center forecast on FM 105.5. 
Washington's morning by First Southern Bank, investing in you since 1907. Good morning from the Big Dog WIFO at 738. Corrections and retractions. All right, now Tower Road is going to be closed Monday and Tuesday, the 29th and 30th. Monday and Tuesday, the 29th and 30th, not uh, Thursday and Friday. Monday and Tuesday, 29th and 30th, the Tower on Tower Road is coming down. You'll be able to access uh, service now and uh, can do from Orange Street. But Tower Road will be closed on the portion from Cherry to uh, service now, but you can get at that from Orange Street. That will be Monday and Tuesday, the 29th and 30th. Corrections and retractions. All right, good morning. 22 minutes until 8 o'clock. Let's check in with state news from GNN on the Big Dog. That's brought to you this morning by England's Mobile Glass and England's Collision Center. Yeah, I'm going